<sighs> All right. Well, it's time once again for the nonsense. Could you actually hear that? Oh, yeah. Maybe I should see a doctor. I've been doing that for so long. My knuckles that's make right, noise. That's right. You, give yourself, you can give yourself arthritis that way. That's not you, true. You break down all the fluid that lubricates the joint. That's not true. It is true. No one, actually, no one knows why you can do this exactly. I think science, there's still, last I checked, no one knew exactly the mechanics of popping your knuckles. They're still working on it. I don't know. Uh, all right. Intro. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring you back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You? So, ha you've been called for jury duty before, yes? I have. I've never been, like, picked. I've but I sat in a room in a courthouse and read a book for half a day. Same for me. I've never been picked for jury duty either. I've I've been called up, and I had to sit in the in the you know the the lot, and they're like you know ask you the questions, and then they're like thank you, you're dismissed, and I'm like, well, you didn't like me. See, I've never even made it to the questioning phase. It's 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 it's. it's I just it's, sit in a room and read a book, and then they're like, okay, you can go. It's it's like speed dating, only with the law, <laughs> and it's like you feel a sense of rejection. I gotta say. But lots of people don't want to do jury duty. If you're not in the United States, uh, I don't know how jury systems work elsewhere, but in the United States, you're selected based on, uh, you know, you, you have to apply for it when you're an adult. And, I think it's your voter registration. Yeah, and you have to go in, and if they select you, you have to take time off work, and you're paid considerably less than most jobs. Even yeah, none of that is the part that bothers me. The part that bothers me is I would have so much anxiety over being on a jury. I wouldn't be able to handle the stress of, like, someone's injury payment or yeah. prison or whatever counting on me. I would fucking melt down. So the, 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 the idea of it is lots of people try to get out of jury duty and they come up with, with creative ways. They, they go to the place wearing weird stuff or they give strange answers. This fellow took it a wee bit too far. And, um, potential jury yells, he's guilty and winds up jailed. Honolulu, a man called for jury duty in Hawaii, shouted, he is guilty, he is guilty, outside a courtroom, ended up spending a night in jail. Lawyers representing Jacob uh, Maldonado uh, said his client yeah. had a bad day when he made the outburst on Tuesday. Quote, he was trying to get out of jury duty. Uh, attorney Jason Burks told the court, obviously, he took a very improper approach to it. Maldonado had been called as a possible juror in a Honolulu misdemeanor assault trial. The court was about to begin jury selection when lawyers alerted Judge Edward Kubo that a potential juror was creating a disturbance outside. Uh, Kubo declared, this is why he went to jail, Kubo declared yeah. a mistrial, finding the man's disturbance had affected the 44 other potential jurors. Yeah, you see, that's why you can't do that. They, they, no. they you pollute the sample. Yes. Now, obviously, everyone has their own prejudices and preconceptions, and they're going to decide a, a court trial. However, they're going to decide a court trial. However, when you start screaming, "He's guilty," and all the other jurors are listening, they're like, "Oh, he is." Well, that makes yeah, this like easy. That gets in, even yeah. if you don't realize it gets in. It gets in. Yeah. And it just so. spins around down in your little lizard brain where you can't even hear it. So instead of getting out of jury duty, now you're going to be on the other side of jury duty. Your situation has not improved. Yeah, hello from the other side. It's it's not To be honest, you sound like kind of an idiot. You probably wouldn't have gotten picked. Yeah, exactly. I mean, th there are ways you can there are much simpler ways you can get out of jury duty. You can claim hardship. Uh, you can explain situation. 
judges really don't want jurors who very much don't want to be there. I think most of the time medical personnel yeah. are exempt because they have to save people's lives. My dad got called once and he was worried about getting picked. We're like, Dad, they're not going to pick you. No one's going to be able to understand what you say. <laughs> My dad had a really thick Irish brogue and like people outside my family and friends could never understand what he was saying. So we're like, as soon as they start asking you questions, they're going to be like, thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Yes, uh, Your Honor, we have 11 uh, verdicts for guilty and one verdict for um, unintelligible. Um, we, we, we don't we don't know. Uh... Also, with his brogue, he pronounced the word lawyer. As liar. <laughs> and I wonder sometimes if that's not why they call them solicitors in Ireland. <laughs> because with, with at least at least with his bro. Yeah. He would say, Oh, did you get a did you get a good liar? <laughs> They're not gonna pick you. Yeah, good pick. <laughs> you're gonna say you're gonna say the word lawyer once and they're gonna send you home. Like So yeah, it's this why did you didn't have to? What the fucking TV show? What fu, you know? Uh, you know what happened? Some motherfucker motherfucker watched a YouTube video how to get out of jury duty. Yeah. And this is what fucking fucking YouTube. Um. But we have more legal shenanigans this week. Ooh. From West Virginia. Uh. I I don't even have a good segue for this. This is this blew me away the audacity and the stupidity combined into one this is kind of amazing is that barack obama's next book the audacity of stupidity <sighs> complaint accuses man of creating fake letter of pardon from west virginia governor a warrant has been issued for a man accused of creating and sending a fake letter from the West Virginia's governor's office in an attempt to have his past crimes pardoned. Criminal complaint says James Justice II, 49, forged the governor's signature on a fake letter saying he was being pardoned of all probation and felonies. Complaint said the, the forged document also had two fake West Virginia seals on it. Let me just read you an excerpt from the letter. No, 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 you got to read the next sentence, though. I, I'm about to. This, this will sum it up. Oh, okay. I, in closing this letter that I, the said governor, Jim Justice, will and has pardoned you of all felonies against you, your date of birth, 2870 in Putnam County, uh, and your probation is hereby waived under my hand, the authority of the power of the state of West Virginia, you are hereby pardoned by my office of the governor. Therefore, I hereby issue this to you, Mr. Justice II. That reads like a Trump tweet. Given under my hand and... Hand and... One word. Yeah. I wonder how... Thing. If you had signed that from the president... People might have bought it. I wonder how they've picked out it was a forgery. I'm I'm baffled. Yeah. Also, all caps. All cap. The entire letter is all caps. <laughs> Generally, official government documents, not in aerial all caps. <laughs> and it looks like it might be bold. <laughs> Now, anyone with half a functioning gray lobe <laughs> would have realized that once upon re upon receiving this letter, the court would go, who has a phone? And call the governor's office, and they would say, no, we didn't do this. Are both of their last names justice? They are. Yes. So is this like his uncle and he thought he'd just be cool with it? This maybe? is sa the same name. James Justice the second, Governor Jim Justice. That's a little odd. 
Yes, Jim's ju- Jim Justice and Jane's Justice. So is this like his kid? Hold on, hold on. This has to happen. <laughs> We're finding out. I feel like they would mention that in a story. That pretty much sums it up right there. There you go. <laughs> I don't know if you're watching the stream, but I put, uh, yeah. <laughs> I have a lag on the stream. Um, yeah, I think that pretty much sums it up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, only- one of them is wearing like Tom Holland's homemade ma- outfit. Yeah. With the big goggles. How the. How did you think this would work? You know what this is like? This is like when I wake up in in the morning and it's time to feed Loki and I feed Loki. And then Sarah's on a slightly different schedule because she has she has a later shift. So she wakes up and Loki comes up to her is like, what? And I'm not around. So she so she feeds him. This is different. Sometimes that does work. The thing is, He's like Loki. He doesn't realize we talk to each other. Yeah. That we communicate with each other. He's operating at the same level of dog as logic as the dog. Yeah. Or like Dottie is adores Dan when it's just her and Dan. She's pretty nice to me when no one else is around. But if we're both in the room, she can't be nice to either of us. Because <laughs> she thinks we don't talk to each other. So she's like trying to keep up this image that she hates us both. And we're like, baby, this, we, 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 we talk. This is a ballsy guy, though. My God. Yeah. Unfortunately, more balls and brains. Yep. You got to have somebody spell check your fake partners. <laughs> Get a fucking editor, my man. Jesus. Oh, uh, let's move to Alabama. Not really. I, I mean, okay. just... Okay. Uh, Let's not. You know, I'm just... Not literally. Okay. Segway. Two arrested in buffet brawl over crab legs. Dan actually wanted to make sure that... He wanted to send this to us, but he didn't believe it was real. And he asked me, and I was like, don't worry, three people have already sent it in. Huntsville, <laughs> Alabama. Uh, Alabama police say a dispute over crab legs at a dinner buffet ended in a brawl that left two people facing misdemeanor charges. Huntsville police officer Gerald Johnson says he was eating at the Meteor Buffet when a fight broke out. Wait, there was a cop there. That doesn't help. <laughs> Johnson tells WHNT TV that diners were using service tongs like fencing swords. And plates were shattering, and a woman was beating a man. Johnson said diners have been waiting in line for crab legs for more than 10 minutes. And they lost their tempers once the food came out. Wait. Is this like 10 minutes, or is this like customer 10 minutes? That's actually two minutes. 10 minutes. You didn't get your crab legs. For ten minutes. And suddenly anarchy. Like, is this the first food you've eaten in a year? <laughs> then I might be able to understand. And what's with the going all three musketeers with the crab tongs? What the <laughs> shit is that about? Like... Ho! Aha! Turn! Parry! Twist! What the fuck is that shit? And like, their buffet crab legs? They're not gonna be that good. Just, if they come out in a pile and go onto a sterno, they're not right off the boat. I mean, Why? Like anyway, but... Why in God's name would you... Unless you are starving. Unless this is some Les Miserables shit. <laughs> there is no reason. This is not a good hill to die on. No. This is, you go before the judge to ask them what they're going to say. Why are you here? And you explain and the judge is going to be like, y- you should not be around people. You, you know you, what they don't have crab legs? Jail. 
Jail doesn't have crab legs. You can go find out. They don't. It's not a happy time. The service is awful. Yeah. Oh. You're going to be waiting more than 10 minutes. Oh, next one. St. Paul, Minnesota. One of the very fundamental basics of crime is do not allow yourself to be identified committing crime. <laughs> that's that's like page one shit. That's like crime 101. Well... Angry woman upset with St. Paul ATM wax machine with golf club. Transaction failed, but it caught her name. When a woman, the first line, oh, who wrote this? Mara H. Gottfried. Mara? Mara. When a woman couldn't get money out of a St. Paul ATM, she was so teed off. She took a golf club to the machine. <laughs> Happened in the middle of the night Wednesday. Police were called to the bank after an employee was alerted about the damaged ATM, but the woman's identity wasn't a mystery. Her failed ATM transaction revealed her name, plus there was surveillance video of her. Police say their investigation continues, and they have yet to arrest the woman. Surveillance cameras showed a woman trying to use a drive-up ATM about 2.15 in the morning on Wednesday. Um, she got out of her sport utility vehicle, walked up to the cash machine, and swung a golf club at it, but slipped. <laughs> Next, she steadied herself, swung again, and connected with the ATM. That's embarrassing. <laughs> the machine's screen was damaged, requiring about $2,000 to repair. Man, this is like the Karen's final form. <laughs> this is like the final white lady boss. <laughs> if you beat her, you get free Starbucks forever. SUV, golf club, inappropriate rage. Instead of pumpkin spice, it's, instead of Sonic Boom, it's pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice. <laughs> and I say this, being a white lady who lives in the suburbs, is currently wearing a scarf oh. and loves some fucking pump, pump, pumpkin spice. Oh my god. No, but they did the... If I'm at the ATM, there's a camera pointing at me out of the ATM. There's How do a people camera. not know this by now? It's the bank. They put cameras everywhere. I don't like using the ATM if my manicure is chipped because I know it's going to have close-ups of my hands. Really? That's how aware I am of the camera. Really? Yes. No, it's just... All right, once you stick your card in the ATM, it... Takes it's like okay, this is you. What would you like? So they got your name. They've got video of your dumb ass. You're going to have to two. Okay, I guarantee you, whatever you were trying to take out of the ATM was considerably less than two thousand dollars. Now you're gonna have to put that back in. Yeah, they're gonna keep that. They don't give that back. You broke their shit. Like, I've had that day where I think I have more money than I do, and I get denied, and I'm a little bit fucked, and I'm pissed off, but I'm pissed off at me. Like, it's not the machine's fault. You're not golf club pissed off. I don't even own golf clubs, but I do have a baton in my car, but I'm not going to hit the ATM with that either, because I'm not a psychopath. Good God, Lord have mercy. And you know me. In any given situation, if I can blame the fucking machine, I will. Because <laughs> I don't trust those mechanical fuckers. Uh... <laughs> but if you spent up all your money, you spent up all your money. Uh... Oh, Christ, we have this one. You're going to get pissed about this one. I got pissed about this one. You know, at some point, you have to decide if you're going to keep doing your job. 
Or are you going to move on to a new job? That's the thing you have to do. It's very simple. You're like, you know what? I'm going to call them and say, I'm sorry. I would no longer like to do this job. Have a nice day. This is not how you handle, I don't want to do this job anymore. Northampton students stranded when bus driver pulls over and walks off, driver charged with DUI. A group of Northampton area and middle school students and their parents were grateful no one was hurt when students were abandoned by their bus driver Friday afternoon. Lorianne Mankos, 44, was charged Friday with driving under the influence. Mankos pulled us to the Sunoco gas station. Uh, according to witnesses, she then had the students exit through the rear doors and took off running. Mankos is employed by the bus contractor for a student. Um, Northampton 8th grader Stephanie Schiller said she was one of more than 30 students picked up by bus number 21. Schiller said Mankos had been transporting her and the other students for two weeks. Quote, she was fun when she first started driving, but then she started getting weird. I don't know. She just seemed a little too friendly. On Friday afternoon, students noticed Mankos wasn't following her route, missing stops, and driving on the wrong side of the road. Is this the fucking bus driver from South Park? <clears throat> Witnesses say Mankos got into a back and forth with students questioning her driving. She said, quote, you kids are making me quit my job after two weeks. She drove over a bunch of potholes. I thought I was going to fall out of my seat. I almost hit my head on another seat. Mankos then pulled into the Sunoco parking lot. She opened the back doors and told us all to get out. After I got off, I looked back, and that's when I saw her running away from the bus and just leaving us there. Monster.com monster fucking dot fucking com i'm sorry that the kids were nagging you kids can be kids can be little shits especially when they're really worried about dying i notice they get really demanding about oh god please don't kill me and stuff that that's hard if you want a job where you can drink on while you're at work, that's what bartending is for. Yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty much nothing involving children is a good no, job for drinking on the job. No, no. Certainly not driving children. <laughs> driving on the wrong side of the fucking road. And like you just took off on foot? <laughs> she ran, ran away on foot. Where were you going? <laughs> and why did you make the kids get off the bus? <laughs> the kids could have stayed. That? Yeah, I know. The kids could have stayed. The, one of them could have probably driven everybody else home. Not the best idea, no, but probably better than the driving drunk idea. Yes. Just, it, hello, I would like to tender my resignation. That works a lot better, and there's no jail involved. Yeah. You don't get fired for quitting your job. You do get fired for this. I mean, I've had some, I've had some jobs I dislike. Yeah. I've had some jobs that I would have loved to double middle finger my way out the door and fuck shit up for everybody on the way. Yeah. I've never done that. Because you don't want to go to jail. Because I'm not an asshole. Well, yeah, there's that too. I just, it, jeez. And like, Christ. I don't like kids that much. No. So I wouldn't take a job where... My job is to deal with 30 fucking kids? Yes! God, no! That, like, that sounds like hell to me. Yes! Cool yes! That is, that is not, that is no. I, you, I, I do not want to deal with your sex trophies. Thank you very much. I mean, as it is, like, I work at a cat shelter, and you get a lot of kids coming in there. 
Yeah. And like I had I had a first grade Girl Scout troop that I had to give a tour. And like God bless these little girls. They really meant well. They were trying so hard to be good, but they're six year old girls and there's twelve of them. So the volume They don't you know, understand And you're and you're surrounded by cats. Yeah. So, I, I think there are pitches that I just don't hear anymore. <laughs> and like, they were pretty good kids and they had two really good moms with them that kept their shit in line. So like, they didn't even misbehave. It's just children. Like. Our last one tonight. Do you know, I, I don't know how much video games you actually do. You know how achievements work, right? You achieve something. Well, in a video game, they have modern video games. They have the system where um, if you say shoot 50 of the same type of bad guy, you get like a little trophy in the game that says you did this. It's called achievement. Um, oh, you earn you can earn like new armor and yeah, well, you sometimes or sometimes yeah. you just like sometimes it's just you made an achievement. Yay. Good for you. You it's like it's like it's, a virtual sticker. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly what it is. You know, it's it's so not even like a real sticker you could put on your notebook. No, it's not. It's a yeah. So, um, but I want to stress achievements are only video game thing. It's in real life. It's called a felony. Police say intoxicated driver hit forty one cars in Rhode Island. Is Rhode Island even big enough to have 41 cars? Rhode Island police have arrested a man they say was driving under the influence when he struck more than 40 vehicles. Police say 40. And that's as many as four tens. And that's terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> police say 45 year old Christopher Pelosi of Foster was zigzagging his pickup truck when he struck 41 vehicles in Providence on Tuesday afternoon. Uh, Paolosi, sorry. Please say Paolosi was intoxicated and he was driving about 15 miles per hour oh. <laughs> when officers stopped him. Police Chief Hugh Clement say officers are compiling a lengthy report due to the number of vehicles hit. He's facing multiple charges, including driving under the influence, reckless driving, failure to stop after an accident. He's fucking Leland Palmer in season two, like, out on the Surrey with the fringe on top. <laughs> 15 miles an hour. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Like, did you think you were playing bumper cars? Jesus. They can give you a pickup truck and bumper cars. Jesus Christ. You, this man has just bankrupted an insurance office. Yeah. Holy well, it's Providence. It's pretty big. Well, I wouldn't call it a big city, but it's one of the bigger cities in Rhode Island. So I just good God almighty. 15 miles an hour. <laughs> That's just so sad. Well, I wasn't speeding. <laughs> you're like, you're basically idling. <laughs> And just bang it, just denting cars, knocking off mirrors. Like, pretty much just the momentum of the cars you're hitting is keeping you going. <laughs> like, you're just bouncing. Like, the fucking logo on your screensaver. <laughs> oh. Just get, you can't do this! Alright, if you do this in Grand Theft Auto, and it's amazing how off, how... Tara, isn't it amazing? How Too many, many times do we have to say this? How many stories really happen that seem like they should be confi confined to that awful video game series? Like, there's just a lot of people that shouldn't be on the fucking road. <laughs> At all! Yeah, good. It's, it's apparently way too easy to get a driver's license. Yeah! Are you breathing? Yeah. Do you have a pulse? Yeah. Have fun. Should be a little harder than that. A little bit. How drunk were you to th 40 that's that's not I have all right, I've 
I don't know if you've ever been in a collision. Like you, you have. Yeah. I, being in a collision you is noticed. a. What? You notice. Yeah, that shit is, it is a jolt. It is a hard jolt. It wakes you up. I've never been drunk when I've gotten hit, but I, I was, uh, I was, what was this, like, about 10 years ago. I, uh, I, a guy ran a stop sign and slammed right into my car. And so hard that we spun out and, and like, off oh, the road. God. Um, that freaking hard. You, all, everything else disappears. Yeah. You are there in the moment. Everything gets really 3D. You're like, boom, okay. How can you not get sobered up after not one, not two, but 41 collisions? <laughs> oh. At some point, how do you not notice? You should stop fucking driving. <sighs> all these people keep hitting me. Fucking people can't drive. It's just Christ. That is that. Wow. That's just astonishing. I yeah. Can't, I can't. If I, just the idea of me hitting one car freaks me out. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. Just like, like stop. Hands attendant to. Do I have my insurance information? Someone should I call the police? The, the ability to go blah, da, da, da. <laughs> I also do like that uh, I don't know if this was padding the word count or what but he hit 41 cars and they had to say he hit more than 40 vehicles <laughs> technically yes that is true technically yes but come on <laughs> oh so the first thing we learned this week is it's way too easy to get a driver's license. Yeah. Practice for your fucking road test, children. Yeah, you're, you're not getting a PSN trophy in the really real world. That's you're not, not... going to get that sweet five star rating. No. Um, we've learned that if you don't want to do your job, resign. Yeah. Don't get drunk and then abandon your job. Like, even if you quit with no notice, they're not going to send you to jail for that. No. They're just going to not give you a reference. No, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot better than... <laughs> even if you quit with no notice, like, you're a dick, but you're not a felon. We've learned that there are cameras everywhere. We don't, I don't know why we feel the need to repeat this, but there are cameras everywhere. There are cameras everywhere. If you're not in your house... Just assume someone's watching you. Yeah, so your crimes are not going to be as as subtle. Yeah. Your subterfuge may not work. Especially, Especially if you don't attempt any. And you left your freaking... You did a trait that... They keep track of that shit! It's, just, it's so weird how we get to... We're in the 21st century and people are like, Oh, they do? Really? Surrounded by this technology, some of it since birth for some people, and there's still so oh, <laughs> banks protect their money. We've learned that um, waiting ten minutes for your crab legs should not result in a reenactment of the road warrior. No. That is not the time for la resistance. <laughs> Just take your subpar seafood and be on your way. Oh, we've learned that for if you're going to attempt a forgery, spell check. That's that's number 1. Number 2 is you probably shouldn't, but number 1 maybe you probably shouldn't forge your own pardon. Oh my god, I'm just reading the letter again. He, I enclosing ing. He didn't write enclosing. He write enclosing with an M. Like, does your copy of Microsoft Word not have spell check? <laughs> Google has, but fucking Chrome has spell check. Right. Or Clippy? Everything has spell check. It underlines things in red. I thought that just meant I did a good job. 
I got a bonus for writing. See, this the is word. what comes of getting rid of red pens in school. And finally, we've learned that um, getting out of jury duty is not so difficult as to require you to actually need a jury yourself. Yeah. Like, you've not improved your situation. You're, you're still going to be at the courthouse much longer than you wanted to, only now it's expensive. Now they might not let you leave. Hope you look good in orange. I don't look good in orange. That, that keeps me from doing a lot of crime. What? You have to think about that. 